Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Sorry. Technology. Okay. Um, so you guys should have put pages 7 through 9 in your cover sheet. So that way, in a moment, it looks like this. I know. So the first page is going to be this yellow page. Okay, so order of operations 7 and 9. And you are going to tape this into your notebook on the first page. This is page seven. Notes on the first page? First page, it's next, not first page, but the next open oh, page. Okay. Um, so the one square should be at the top. Yep, that one. Asa, can I borrow your notebook for a sec? Alright, so you should see that and it should have page 7 on the top. So using pencil, um, I want you to title it, the order of operations. Do we have to use a pencil? Yes, for notes you do. Unless you have an erasable pen. Okay. Now, you guys have been kind of trained to remember a certain acronym for remembering the order of operations. Does anyone recall it? Oh. Yeah. PEMDAS, okay? So instead of calling it PEMDAS, though, I'm going to change it a little bit to GEMDAS. We're going to put a G at the front. And I'm going to go over why that is. So we're going to go through each of the operations and what's covered there, and then we're going to do some practice. So in your first square, you're going to write G, and you can write grouping symbols. If you have big handwriting, you can write grouping at the top here and symbols at the bottom. So it's grouping symbols. Alright, let's talk about what's covered under grouping symbols. Um, what was the G before it was a G? The letter was P. P stood for parentheses. So parentheses are a grouping symbol. It groups more than one number with an operation in it. Okay. So you have parentheses. We also learned about absolute value last week. Right? So you can have more than one number in an operation in absolute value bar. So you may want to add that in. And there's also two more that I want to include, okay? So we also have the square root symbol. That can be a grouping symbol. And then the last one, if we want to put groups of parentheses together, we have brackets, the square version of parentheses. are the main types of symbols. So now after G, what's next in the order? Exponents. We're going to put a big E there. That stands for exponents. So in algebra, you guys will typically see the exponents 2 and 3. So you might have a number being squared. 
You might even have a variable such as y being cubed. Before I go on to what's next, okay, I want to talk about, I forgot something about grouping symbols that I want to go back to, and I want you guys to add a asterisk next to it, so outside of the box. And there are some parentheses that represent just multiplication because there's no operation in them. So parentheses um, for multiplication. Are different. So, for example, you might see this written. So we have two, and then in parentheses six. This means two times six. Okay. This is not a grouping symbol. This just means multiplication. A grouping symbol would be if I had an operation next to six, like plus one inside. Okay, that is a grouping symbol. There is an operation present. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Who write that? You don't have to write that down, but I'm just clarifying your understanding. Okay. All right. After we do exponents now, Asa, you got a question? Oh, your phone's like so. That's okay. I was doing that one as background. I'm also recording on my my. All right, so what's up after exponents? These are equal operations. Asa? Multiplication. Multiplication or? Division. Division. All right, so we have M and D. Multiplication. Now, these two are side by side, again, because they're equal operations. So you go from left to right. Whichever one you see first, you do first. So you can also put a star next to that one. Whatever. Like seeing the problem or seeing what you add? Seeing the problem. Okay? Going from left to right. Kind of like how you read a book. All right. And then last but not least, what are the last two operations that we do that are also equal? Addition and subtraction. Addition and subtraction. We have A and S. These ones you also do left to right. Whatever one you see first, you do first. Is anyone still writing? 